Try to gather your mind together. Keep it in one spot. Right here at the breath, right here in the body. Because when it's still like this, it can see things clearly. If you're running around all the time, everything is a blur. And you have a few little snatches of a view of something here and there, and then of course you stitch them together. And depending on how you stitch them together, you've either got something useful or useless. But if you really want to see what's going on, you have to be still and let everything else move. It's like that image of a John Lee said, if you were born in a train it kept moving all the time, you'd think everything in the world moved. The train moves, cars move, mountains move, trees move, houses move, because everything you see is moving. That's because you're moving. If you want to get a sense of what's really solid and still, you have to make your mind as solid as possible. That gives you something to measure other things against in a lot better way. So you see things clearly and you see things consistently. If you want to watch something, watch it all the time, not just coming in, it's like looking at a TV show, coming in every 15 minutes or so to figure out what's going on. You have to be there watching the whole show to see the plot. Well, it's the same with your mind. Your mind has its plots. It has its ways of causing things to happen inside itself and outside. So you want to see that in action. And the only way to do that is to be as still as you can. So try to make the mind centered as you go through the day. Have a sense of being centered right here. That's your foundation. That's the foundation that can't get knocked over unless you knock it over yourself. So do your best not to kick your foundation away. Keep it solid. And if anything else comes up, view it from that foundation. Don't go running out, leaving your foundation. Think of the quail. It stayed away from its ancestral home and it got caught by the hawk or the monkey. It went into a place it shouldn't have gone and it ended up getting trapped by the hunter. So you've got your safe place inside. Don't leave it. Let the world come to you. You don't have to go running out after the world. And that way what you do and say and think comes from a good, solid place inside as well.